Hello again. I've got something most of you have probably seen before, but maybe get, not given much thought to. Is the security tags that stores use on clothing and other valuables. We're going to go over a little bit about the basics of these. Um, and how they work and what makes them work. I'm not going to and no, I'm not going to teach you how to steal stuff. That's it's not going to happen. But I will show you a little bit of the basics because it is interesting. Okay, first off, most of these systems work on detecting a signal, and um, the way they do that is you got the two towers you walk through, the two upright pedestals in the store entrance. When you walk through those, one pedestal transmits and one receives. Um, there's usually two frequencies used. There's uh, 58 kilohertz and 8.2 megahertz are the two most common ones and um, when you walk through there with a tag that tag creates a disturbance in that field and the uh, the detection circuitry can uh, detect that it works the same for the disposable tags too and I'll get on those in another video first off I just want to talk about the two main technologies um, which is acoustomagnetic and RF Acoustomagnetic is Sensormatic's uh, big thing. There's a few other companies that use it too. And that's these, that's these guys right here. Stop dropping them. Um, that's these ones right here. We've got Super Tags. Uh, you've got the old ones like this. These are bottle tags, which are kind of cool. They put them around a wine bottle or a purse or anything with a handle or close spot in there and they ratchet and it takes a magnet to remove this there's a steel slug in there with little teeth that engage these teeth and that magnet pulls that slug down I didn't bring the magnet up because it's really strong and well I got my computer over here and I don't want to wreck the hard drive this one though I can show you how it unlocks because the magnet for it's a little bit smaller this is for a mainly wine bottles you could use it on a baseball bat sporting good type stuff that it wouldn't slide off of and it's got steel inside there so you make it hard to cut this is a magnetic key and you stick it on there and it opens um, pretty straightforward now these ones this is one of the oldest security tag designs this is called a gator tag basically how you undo it is you use this this guy here basically what it does is you put it in here and you see that pin meeting it squeezes there's a spring in there and it squeezes that spring. Actually, here's a spring out of one that I have on this little chain. And I don't know how well you can see that. There's a little gap there, though, that if you see the hole right there in the middle between my fingers. Basically, it flexes this spring and allows these two little fingers right here to open and release the tack. Here's one with a tack in it. Um, you can see how it's sticking up through there. It, it just bends that apart. Um, the super tags, they use a bit different system. Sensormatic decided that since thieves know how to open the uh, the gator tags, they wanted to make a better one. And that was the super tag. It doesn't use the the pinpoint or the pressure point system. It won't fit in here and it won't won't work. So they made a machine that used a piece of metal that was inserted into this hole on the end here. And what that did is that did similar to what the spring did, it pushed a spring back and allowed it to release. These found out though that the machine, the little metal piece, will sometimes break. And they could order just that metal piece, and here it is here. Nothing much to it at all. You stick it in, and it pops it open. This is the piece that the machine uses. You put the tag down the machine, you either squeeze a lever, or it or there's automatic ones that'll pop it out. And the machine inserts this into that hole and pops it loose. They just ordered the replacement piece and it's called a Sensormatic hook or Super Tag hook and you can find them on eBay, they're kind of expensive. But the Super Tags do that. The thieves also found out that you can put a curved piece of metal in there and they came up with the Super Tag too. It's got a little piece inside there to uh, uh, deflect anything that's a foreign object. The authentic little tool though will still open the Super Tag too. Um, and the way it grips the tack on on both the designs we've discussed is there's, you probably can't see them. there's little grooves in this though and they you'll hear it when I push it in they just click in 
and I didn't bring the ink tag up. I've got a case full of these. I was doing a patent idea for one and I ran out of steam on it. I was going to show you what an ink tag looked like. I'll do that in a later vid though. Um, this is a, another 8. Now we're getting on to the checkpoint stuff which uses 8.2 megahertz and that's these guys right here. Um, this one's an older system made by Nogo that uses a I want to say 2 megahertz. But they're not even around anymore. Um, these work on the same principle. These are a little bit different. They have two strips of metal inside here, uh, an amorphous alloy type stuff, and a magnet. Whenever that goes through the field, that magnet biases those two strips of metal just like a tuning fork. Now, when that magnet is demagnetized on the disposable labels, it's like holding your finger on the tuning fork. It detunes it. These ones aren't disposable though. The disposable ones are like what you see in DVD boxes. We'll get into that in another vid. Um, but it can create a field disturbance in there and the, and the receiving antenna can pick it up. Now this one, like I said, these are uh, checkpoint. It uses a tuned tank circuit. There's a coil of wire in here and a, a capacitor. And that creates a tuned tank circuit which um, also creates a field disturbance between the two towers. Now, a sensormatic tag won't set off a checkpoint system, nor will a checkpoint set off a sensormatic. They're two different systems, two different frequencies, but they work very similar principles. Um, these ones open with a magnet. You can actually use, if you get a strong enough magnet, it'll work on them. Uh, like I said, I didn't bring the one up for these because it's really strong, and if I get it near my computer, it'll probably wreck the drive. This is a magnet too, though, and I might be able to no, because they're not positioned right. These magnets are different position. Um, another cool one that you might have seen are on box sets and expensive like PSP and stuff is the spider wrap. And that's this guy right here. Made by uh, Alpha. And they make these for sensormatic and checkpoints. So you can buy one if you have a sensormatic system, you can buy one for it. If you have a checkpoint system, this one's AM, so that's sensormatic. And this is the alarming kind. If you cut one of these cables, it'll go off. And like, there's a test button on here, and I can show you what that sounds like. It's really not that loud. And this is a fairly new one. Um, but basically, the way it works is you got to unlock this piece here, which is unlocked right now. There, now it's locked. You use this magnet key. Um, you line it up on there, and you push that piece in and it comes undone. Then you can put it on the product, wrap it around the product, then it put this up and it ratchets closed. This one's, yeah, this one's obviously busted. Um, it doesn't ratchet closed anymore. That's probably why I found it on the side of the road. Um, this guy is cool. This is a security hook. It's for pegboard. You hang your product on here and you can't slide it off without using this little key which is another strong magnet. And you put the magnet in and it pulls it open. Now, you probably won't be able to see it but there's a little ball bearing down in there and it locks into this groove here. Well that magnet just pulls that ball bearing out of the way and as much of a tinker as I am I've got some really strong magnets and I could not get this thing open without using the actual key. Instead of the key being polarized, a no no no, I mean, ugh, on the ends of it, it's polarized on the edges. One side's north and one side's south. Don't ask me which, but I've never checked it with a compass. But yeah, that's, that's how it works. And there's also magnets in here that'll work the older hooks and the spider wraps. Really, that's all I wanted to show you. Um, different tags and how they work and if you buy one of these things one of these tools you can get them on eBay they're they're not cheap I got this one out of a store it was going out of business I bought it from them they were selling all their stuff don't think you can just take this into a store and try to steal stuff that'd be a really dumb idea it's got a permanent tag embedded in the handle so if you take it into a store it'll set their alarm off plus getting caught with something like this out in a store would be considered burglary tools as far as I know, owning it in your own home, uh, for what I do, experimental stuff, is not illegal. Um, a nor is owning these. Now, if you intend to, I mean, if you're using them to commit a crime or something, obviously, yeah, you're breaking the law. But just having them is not illegal. Well, 
that's really all I wanted to show. Uh, thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.